Is that one yours? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. What are you going to name him? Chicky. Chicky? I don't think his name should be Chicky. He is a Chicky. Alright, you want to let him go and we'll go get our other chickies from in the house? No. Nope. We're going to go get the ones from inside. Do you want to bring them outside today? Nope. I think we should. With me? Yeah. See, it's about my nap time, isn't it? I'm a little bit cranky. drinking now. They've calmed down a bit. Hey Bella. Chip, chip, chip. That Buff Orpington back there is our six and a half year old hen. If not older. Hi Bella. Hi girl. Chick, chick. She's like, you don't have no food. Bella? You're back again? Chick, chick, chick. Chick, chick. You want Bella's friendly? <laughs> right now, I think we're going to take little miss in and get her ready for her nap. Aren't we? So we got the chickies fed and watered, so they're good for the day. We'll come out before it gets dark and put the babies up. Yeah. All right. Say bye. Bye to the camera. Bye to the camera. Hello, guys. We are doing a video. I know it's been a few weeks. We have had a lot going on. Um, we lost. Uh, we did have some losses on the farm that have kept me busy one right after the next or the following week uh, I was sick and then I had two of my girls sick so it's just kind of been a little time consuming uh, so sorry for the, that there hasn't been a video but this video we are doing chickens chicken updates what we got going on um, I will well I'll tell you since I mentioned the losses on the farm I'll tell you about those first um, so first off, we lost our dog Murphy. He was, um, we woke up the other morning and he had, was breathing really, really heavily. Wasn't really quite sure what was going on. Um, so I rushed him to the vet and they said he had a fungal infection in his lungs that he um, his lungs had deteriorated to the point that they could not save him and he had to be put down. Um, sorry, give me a minute while I sit down over here. And then, um, our little goat Fiona, uh, the other morning she just wasn't really looking right. And around noon, we discovered that she had aborted her babies. Um, and shortly after that, we learned that she had hemorrhaged. Um, so I suspect one of our other goats had headbutt her. And. Hi, daddy. So we lost a set of twins from her. And then we ended up losing her later on that day. And that was actually on Halloween night on Monday, the 31st. So, uh, yeah, we've no. been playing, haven't we? Yeah. All right, so what we got going on with our chickens. Um, here is, <clears throat> I got a few chickens that, that free range, and I try to free range them all. Except for these guys, I uh, discovered they could make their way over to my neighbors. <laughs> You're not going to catch that chicken. You're still not going to get a chicken. <laughs> Hi. 
Don't hit her. Don't hit the chicken. We got Chris coming out here now. Now that all the hard work's done. Anyway, these guys have to be up because they discovered they could go to my neighbors and I found them on his porch more than one occasion. So they put them up. Um, I just put this old ripped slip and slide tarp or liner over top of it, which worked really well in the, the summertime. But we need to winterize this. So I have drug over, um, there's a roof in the back there, right there, that was part of the, an old shed that was falling down. And we're going to put that roof on this kennel and then put some tarps around it to winterize it a little bit better, which I've already done. That's why I'm kind of taking a break. I moved this kennel over from here. Chris was supposed to help me, but he's just now making his way out now that I'm finished. And then we have our silky coop here. Um, and I'm going to actually connect this wire to the kennel and to the back of the kennel to give them this much more room. And their coop's also going to need winterized pretty quickly. But we got one thing at a time. Um, this was their for this you know this was their roosting bar nesting bar i've got a nesting box over there which they were roosting on so i'm going to put a uh, piece of tin over top of that and see if i can't stop them from pooping and roosting on their nesting box and maybe we'll get some eggs again this is my easter egg rooster i got a couple easter egg hens pearl is my white chicken there we raised her from an egg or hatched her out. Uh, the black hens I'm actually going to sell. They were supposed to be blue egg layers of some type, but they lay a brown egg. I bought this one just because I liked her. <laughs> I figured we always need some brown eggs. What's up, girl? Her name's Gemma. She's a dark Brahma. We also have a buff Brahma in the barn. But stick around we'll show you what we're doing as far as our chicken coops and winterizing those um oh we also plan on i'm moving that over there because i'm planning on getting a shed and i'm going to put the shed right here um and we can get electric to it you know the garage has electric so we'll get it from there and i want to clean this up and put some brooder boxes here again same same situation we'll also the little shed I also plan on putting um, a rainwater collection system of some type there. So all of the chickens are going to go behind the garage here in this space that we just don't use at all whatsoever. And yeah. I have a water back here, get some food storage going back here. And we'll show you what we got going on.
driveway right now. That's why she's not in her car seat. So don't come at me about the car seat safety. I know. Um, we're on her driveway and we are helping her with her corn picking today. So I'm at the top of the drive right now. And this overlook, let me show you guys. Of her flowers fell over. Isn't it pretty? And these are homegrown pumpkins, homegrown corn. Her bow's crooked. Oh well, goodness, this wind on this hill. <laughs> yeah? Alright, here. Let's go on down here. She said something already about wagons needing to go out to the cornfield. I thought she said gravity wagons, but I don't see none. So that's what we're doing today, guys. We'll put some music to it and probably speed things up. Not do a lot of talking for a couple minutes worth of, of footage, but not a whole lot. It's not going to be our whole video. I'm going to try to get back to winterizing my chicken coops here for the rest of the video. So, doing a break, change of scenery. Hi, hang around. <laughs> I am sitting here in the garage right now because it's a little bit windy outside, but I will um, take you out here and show you the progress on the chicken coop. It has been a couple of days. Uh, today is Tuesday. Yeah, that was Sunday that I was working on it, and now it is Tuesday. So, it is Veterans Day, or not, Election Day. It's Election Day. <laughs> I'll get my days right in a minute. But I'll take you over here and show you what we have been working on. Excuse the wind. It is windy. That's why I was starting in the garage. But I do have a surprise as well. Okay, so here's what we've got going on with our little chicken kennel. Um, I do have a couple of tarps. The wind is coming from this direction. I think we need to put another one on that side. We're getting a lot of southern winds, which we normally don't get. It's normally east, which is on that side. So normally coming from, or north, it's normally coming from the north or the east, which is this way, that way. So I think having one here, because it's kind of coming southeast right now, will help a little bit. Um, basically, they just have a couple roosting bars, and I've just got them a bucket of water right now. I did get a, a tin roof put on the top. Well, so they've got a decent cover now, at least. What's up, pumpkin? And here is what we are working on. We have all kinds of material. Because we are building a shed for our chickens and our other stuffs. And who knows what else. Actually, I do know what's going to go in there, but it's a surprise. 
So. <laughs> little bit's keeping up with the <laughs> keeping up with the big girls. They've been jumping on the trampoline and shoo, this wind's got my hair a mess. I'm gonna have to put it up before I keep going. It's starting to get in my face anyway that I can't work. But uh, right now I'm just working on laying um, some block for a foundation. I have that corner, that corner, and that corner level with each other. Um, and I'm having to kind of dig out just a little bit right here. Um, but the ground all kind of runs that way. So digging out this way, you know, for it to sit is going to be fine because it's not going to run back up under there or anything like that once I get it done. And the entrance, the door, I do want to fence my entire chicken coop off. So I've already got the gate here. And when I go in, the door is going to be right here. This is going to be the front. The short, the end of it will be the front. And it'll have an aisle way with our items that's going in here on either side. Um, a window at the other end to try to get some airflow because like I said most of our wind comes from the east which is directly that way um, so we should get some decent airflow and ventilation in it um, and I can't tell you guys what it is just yet but I mean other than a shed of course and putting some knickknacks in it but I just had to say that because the kids was over here and I can't tell you what it's for so stay tuned this is uh, my next few videos are probably gonna be a little bit with the shed build um, and some other stuff too we'll add in like this one's got some you know our chicken updates and stuff in it but um, i trying to get out of the wind <laughs> um, what we'll probably do is you know, I want to say right now I'm a complete beginner I have never built a shed I have been watching YouTube videos like crazy for the past couple weeks in preparation for this and I'm following the videos as I go on you know laying and leveling the foundation and and my frame and all of that so if I do something wrong <laughs> and you want to comment and say hey you probably shouldn't do it that way because for structural integrity it's not gonna work that's fine I won't take offense to it um, but please no comments that you don't know what you're doing you know yeah let's not do any of that anyway I'm gonna end this video now um, this is gonna be the starts and I'm my next video is gonna pick up right here where I'm leaving off because that's what I'm working on and we'll see you guys in the next video hopefully it won't be another two or three weeks but you know how it is <laughs> so don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you get our notifications when our videos are posted and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Say bye, Zelda. Meow. Meow. You gonna lick your tail now? Do you get an itch? I do get itch. Meow. Say bye. Does sunshine feel good? Meow. No. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.